God says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to Him, and He will make your paths straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. These verses emphasize the importance of relying on God's wisdom rather than our limited understanding. When we trust and submit to God, He promises to guide and protect us, bringing health and nourishment to our lives. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. This verse presents God's invitation for repentance and revival. When His people humbly seek Him, turn from sin, and pray, He promises to forgive them and bring healing to their land. The Spirit of the Lord is on me, because He has anointed me to proclaim the good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free. Jesus quotes this verse to announce His divine mission to bring spiritual and physical healing, freedom, and liberation to those in need. In conclusion, the powerful prayer, God, not my will but let your will be done, and the accompanying note to self serve as a powerful reminder of our relationship with God. They urge us to surrender our plans to His divine wisdom, trust in His goodness, and expect miracles and blessings that surpass our comprehension. This prayerful attitude enables us to embrace God's purpose for our lives, to intercede for others with compassion, and to be vessels of His love and grace in the world. In the midst of life's challenges and uncertainties, God's messages bring us a sense of profound peace and reassurance. They remind us that we have a loving and caring Father, who is intimately involved in every aspect of our lives. God's words echo like a gentle whisper, cutting through the noise of the world to offer solace and guidance. In the first message, God's words act as a comforting embrace, urging us not to be consumed by stress and pressure. His promise of protection is a powerful reminder that we are not left to navigate life's difficulties on our own. We can find rest and security in the knowledge that God has everything under control. His encouragement to let go and trust Him is an invitation to relinquish our worries and anxieties, laying them at His feet. In doing so, we experience a release from the burdens that weigh us down, finding refuge in the arms of our Heavenly Father. The second message is a resounding call to embrace our potential and to step out in faith. God addresses the self-doubt that often holds us back from pursuing opportunities. His words challenge us to move beyond the confines of our comfort zones and to recognize that readiness does not always come with a feeling. It comes through a willingness to be obedient and to trust in God's guidance. Type yes if you believe in God. God bless you.